Hi, I'm Megan Amram. I love science, but I also love looking good. I went to Harvard. Let's begin. Science. Ooh, sexy. Don't get sexy just science. Ooh, sexy. On today's experiment, we'll be making a vinegar volcano. Vinegar, a thing you girls might recognize from your kitchen, can combine with baking soda, a thing you girls might recognize from your kitchen, to create a fun volcanic eruption, something you girls might recognize from your kitchen if you live in Hawaii. All you have to do is take some baking soda, don't be shy, really fill her up here, a few drops of red food coloring for fun, and take your vinegar, get real close, and watch what happens. laboratory eye wash. So you just get it all in your t-shirt so that a sexy man walks by and he sees you with this sexy wet t-shirt and he gives you the antidote. I'm so sorry. Okay? Oh my god, are you a sexy man here to help um, me? No, no, I'm Sarah Wasserman. Can I help you? Yes. Are you okay? Yes. Let's, Let's go talk up. about your work. Please lead me to the okay. chairs. You feel okay. beautiful. Thank you. Sexy science. Thank you so much, Sarah. Since this episode is about health and safety, I thought that I'd make you and I feel more comfortable by putting a little female health into the situation. Well, I'm not that kind of doctor. Sure you aren't. Don't sell <laughs> yourself short. Your work focuses on the neuroscience of decision making and how different states, like if someone's hungry, tired, stressed, in a noisy environment, alter what we decide is important to pay attention to. What does that mean? I wasn't paying attention to it. <laughs> so I'm really interested in how a brain can make a decision, right? Because when we're out even walking around, there's lots of different things going on, and mm -hmm. you have to be sure that you pay attention to the right thing and not the wrong thing. And our brains can do this and constantly reprioritize. Yes, sometimes I see a hot guy and I follow him right into oncoming traffic. <laughs> that could be a problem. You study the brain using right. a type of fly called the Drosophila melanogaster. First of all, why don't you give it a cuter name like Lisa? You could name your flies if yeah, you wanted. You could. Yeah. Why do you use flies instead of like a human man? So amazingly, flies' brains are quite similar to our own in terms of how they process information so we can understand how flies are doing something, hopefully it'll be applicable to humans. They sound awesome. They are awesome. And they actually live a quite complicated existence. They have lots of really cool behaviors that they can do. The boy flies actually have to do like a little dance for the female flies. I love that when yeah. a boy fly is like in touch with his feminine side yes. and just can let loose and have a little fun. That's right. <laughs> now, I hear that you use video games to help flies. We do. We actually present the flies with different things to look at and different things to smell. And we try and ask how they pay attention to what they're seeing or what they're smelling or if those things are helping each other. So is what they're seeing helping them locate the odor or is the odor helping them perceive what they're seeing? Also, I just want to take a moment here and ask, like, do you like me? Do you think I'm doing a good job right I now? I do, I think you're doing a great job. Okay, you're my best friend. What would you say is the biggest difference between a fly's brain and a human's brain? Uh, wow, that's a tough question. Our brains definitely have a lot more neurons. And what's that? A brain cell. And what's that? A neuron, mm -hmm. yep. But we process information in a similar way. But flies can fly. Yeah. And so it's really cool because we're learning a lot about how the different behavioral state of the fly, if they're walking versus flying, the brain actually looks totally different. Have you studied any other animals, maybe cuter ones than flies? Well, I think flies are pretty cute. To eat your own. <laughs> I also have studied um, microscopic worms. Oh my god, so skinny. Very cute. <laughs> Did you study any bigger animals? Um, I studied crayfish and lobsters. Uh, would you say that they're like cray cray fish? They're pretty cray cray. Oh, that is adorable. Yeah. Thank you very much, Sarah. Thank you. If you don't mind, I would like to take a little sip oh. of this. Thank you so much. <laughs> I'm so flexible. That's impressive. This has been Experimenting with Megan Amram. Please tune in next time. And until we meet again, remember, I went to Harvard. Science. Ooh, sexy. Thank you for watching Experimenting Science. with Megan Amram. Ooh. To watch more, click my gimlet. 
To subscribe to Smart Girls, click my mimosa. Mm. Mm. Internet. Come here. Come on. Mm. Oh, yeah. Comments. I wish these drinks were closer to my face. Click them, won't you? Oh my God, I'm feeling a buzz. I'm such a lightweight. Mm. I'm gonna text my ex.